In the upper left hand corner, there's the users window. This shows who's also logged in. Here we can see Dennis is the moderator and he currently has the role of presenter. I'm logged in as Fred. First thing we're going to do is do some chat. So in the chat window, you can type whatever you'd like and then just click enter or click send. Here I've sent a message. Dennis has replied. And I also have the ability to do uh, a private chat as well. So here I'm going to set a private chat to Dennis. Only Dennis will see this and Dennis can reply back. While I'm in another tab, if someone posts to the general chat, I can see the all tab highlight there. I can see Dennis just type something and I'm going to say, hey, I'm looking forward to the class. Should be a good one. Okay. For the start of the lecture, the presenter will upload slides usually. After a moment there, Dennis says the presenter has uploaded some slides. I can see what Dennis is currently pointing at and I can also see the slides as they transition. Dennis can zoom in and zoom out and I can follow along. Now I can't move the slides around, but I can change the size of the presentation window. So there, I can actually see more uh, and I can also uh, maybe move my chat window around a little bit to the right. In addition to presentation, there's also video. Dennis has already shared his video. To see it, I'll just click and there I can see uh, his live webcam. As a viewer, I can change it size by resizing and move it around. To share my video, I just click on the start my camera icon. A dialogue will appear. I have to give Flash permission to take the video and there it is, that's me. In addition to chat, presentation and video, there's also voice. So you certainly want to be able to hear the teacher. Dennis has just joined the voice conference bridge. Now as a student to join, all you need to do is click start my microphone. And there you'll see yourself join in the listeners window. And periodically the moderator may mute or unmute you. And there when muted, you can see a slash through. If you want to leave the voice conference bridge, just hit the headset. And if you dialed in, just hang up. You also have the ability to raise your hand if you want to ask the presenter a question. Finally, there's desktop sharing. If the presenter shares his or her desktop, you'll see it appear as a new window. Uh, this window is resizable and movable, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I'll pro it so I can see more of the desktop. And in the lower left hand corner, I can see a zoom button, which now see shows me uh, Dennis's desktop pixel for pixel. So I can see Dennis moving around and clicking the uh, start menu. Once the presenter stops sharing his or her desktop, the uh, desktop sharing window will just disappear. Lastly, there's always help available in the upper right hand corner, the help button, and to log out, just click log out.